Have you ever felt like you were missing something? Like you knew exactly where it was at, but you can't find it? Well, that's what we do. We travel the byways and roadways of America looking for hot rod gold. Stay tuned. Travel with us now. Guys, I'm glad you guys decided to join us today. Both uh, Pendejo 1 and Pendejo 2 is in the war room right now, contemplating our next move. Uh, we have uh, done quite a few things so far. We've got some of it on film and some of it we don't, so maybe just re relating that to them in a form of a, of a uh, story or two. Uh, I'm down in Central Texas right now, and I just happened to run across my, my old buddy that old Pendejo number two decided to make this channel and see how interesting we can be as two old men. Let me introduce you to Doc. Where you at, Doc? Man, you have to get closer in, brother. You know, he's shy, he's camera shy. <laughs> That's Doc. Pendejo number, number two. two. Yeah. Anyway, so we started out this this uh, this trip. I I came all the way from Alabama to to uh, celebrate my birthday with him. I hadn't done that in years, so figured to do something different. But on the way over here, we were contemplating our next move, and that's what we're doing, sitting around the war room table right now, thinking about just what we're going to do. We have actually um, got our ears and and to the ground and have been notified of a barn find. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you that it's an original uh, vehicle, but it is a nice vehicle. And when I say nice, my buddy, he's he's excited about it. I got to tell you that. It's a, uh, what do we say, 57 or 56? 56. 56 uh, Chevrolet step side short bed V8 three speed big window pickup. It's got um, some pretty nice saw blades on it. It's sitting in a barn and it's covered with dirt and dust and you name it, man. But you know what? It's West Texas dirt. Or Central Texas dirt, I should say. It's clean. Let's just go with Texas dirt, okay? It's clean. You know where I where I live now. There's it, it's uh, the uh, rust will eat it up, and uh, or the dirt permeates uh, humidity into the floor pans of these vehicles. So I'm glad I'm over here in Texas. We've actually uh, went out and looked at this vehicle today. Uh, we're not actually going to show where it's at and you know why because everybody's going to want it and and uh we're we're uh we're working on that but uh anyway if you guys will uh sit tight and just come along with us for the ride and incidentally it's my birthday <laughs> all right talk to you in a bit hey you're supposed to pick me up dummy better get back here <laughs> but first jim tip of the day Oh, I got all the connections in the world. Welcome to another Jim's Tip of the Day. That's right. Tip of the Day. Don't get a wild hair and travel 900 miles to go visit your buddy. <laughs> and expect your ass not to hurt. Because it hurts. Then he says, hey, let's go over here. What are you talking about, dude? I just drove 900 miles to come see you. And you get me on this in a Jeep Rubicon on an East Texas road. As you can tell, it's kind of bumpy. It rides like a cloud. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you. The bottom line is, guys, it don't matter what kind of terrain it is. It don't matter what. I got to come and see my best friend on my birthday. Woo! <laughs> All right. So, we're going to stop at one minute. And I've got a big announcement here shortly. Love y'all. Now you understand that we've got to keep uh, this location top secret. So we didn't touch anything, we didn't do anything other than locate the vehicle and admire it. And uh, looking forward to trying to put a deal together. And this is exactly why we do what we do, making memories, two best friends, out in the middle of nowhere having the times of our life. Come join us, stay with us. There's gonna be many more chapters.
Hey, you're supposed to pick me up, dummy. Let me get back here.